Hey everybody, in this video we're going to go over how to install Arduino for Windows and Mac. So let's start with Windows, and this is for the Codrone Pro. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Arduino website. And there's a link in Basecamp, or you can just type in Arduino on Google, and it'll be the first thing that pops up. And it takes you to arduino.cc. So to install the program, you have to go to software, just hover above software, and then click downloads. Then we're going to scroll down to the download the Arduino IDE section. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. It's basically where you'll be working. There's a bunch of different options for the operating system that you're using. We're using Windows, so we're just going to click on that. You can make a donation if you wish. This is how Arduino makes its money. However, you can just download the program for free as well. All right, once that's downloaded, we're going to open it up and we get the license agreement. Click agree to this and you can choose what you want to include in your installation. Uh, the shortcuts are optional. Uh, feel free to turn those off if you don't want them. Uh, we're going to make sure to leave everything else on though. And then we're going to install in the program files and you just click install and it shouldn't take too long installing and now we should have the Arduino program up and running all right we're in and it should look like this it should be a blank document and this is what Arduino looks like there are a few things we need to do to set up though, so go to Sketch, Include Library, and Manage Libraries. It's going to open up this window right here, and we need to install the Codrone library. So we're going to go to the search bar and just type in Codrone. Uh, it's already installed on my computer, uh, however, all you have to do is click the Install button right where this is right here. Uh, it looks like I have an update, so I'm just going to update it. And then once it's installed, you'll have this word here installed. And just to prove it, we can go to Sketch, Include Library, and now if you scroll down, there'll be a Codrone library right here. And you're all set. Alright, this is how to install Arduino for Mac. The beginning part is still the same as the Windows version. We need to go to the Arduino website and there's a link on Basecamp or you can just go to Google and type in Arduino and it should be the first thing. And here it is, arduino.cc. Okay, now we need to hover over software and go to downloads. Scroll down to download the Arduino IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment and we're going to click on the Mac OS 10 version of the program. You can make a donation here if you want or you can just click the download button and it'll download Arduino for free. Depending on your browser it'll prompt you to save the file just go ahead and save that and then it starts to download. And once it's finished downloading you can open it up from the finder from the downloads folder. I'm just going to drag it onto the desktop so we can see it a bit better and you need to unzip it so you just double click on it and Max automatically unzip it and there you go you just have to double click on Arduino now I'm going to move it over to my applications folder just because I like to be nice and neat and I put it in my dock as well and when we open it it's going to ask us if we trust it go ahead and open it at this point too you can also delete that zip file and this is what the loading screen looks like. And we're in. I'm just going to maximize it so we can see. And this is what a brand new Arduino file looks like. You can type in here. There are a couple other things we need to do though. So go to sketch, include library, and manage libraries. And it'll open up this window here. Alright, so we need to install the Codrone library. So just go to the search bar and type in Codrone. And click on that and then there's an install button just click that install button and now that it's installed you can see the install name right there alright and to prove it we can go to sketch include library and now codrone is part of the included libraries 
And that's it. That's all you need to start coding with Codrone.